all right guys so to start shading the face you need to first start blending those sketch lines and to do that i am using this smudge brush now you have to make sure that you are using a smudge brush and not a colorless brush and if you don't know the difference between the both i will link a video down below which which in which I actually talk about the difference, the main difference between both the brushes. But yeah, here you're gonna have to blend these sketch lines. And my sketch lines are in this deep maroon color. And I would highly recommend you guys to actually create your sketch lines in this color only, um, especially if you are shading a lighter skin tone. Also, you guys, I'm not gonna go into detail about the eyes and the eyebrows. I've already shaded those as I already have a lot of tutorials on that on my channel. And I also be sharing the color palette with you guys. Now I'm picking up this color and I'm adding details to the nostrils and this part around the mouth and also the waterline or not even waterline, like eyeliner. And because this is kind of a male face, so I won't call it eyeliner necessarily, but to just to define the eyes, I'm using this deep shade to kind of outline the whole eyes. And I went ahead with the smudge brush to smudge it out a little bit so that it's not looking that harsh. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. The next step is to, after you have blended the sketch lines, the next step is to first of all add those details in the nostrils um, the part around the mouth and everything of that sort now i'm picking up the skin color now the next step is really important you want to make sure you have a good base so i'm picking up the skin color and i'm just going to start adding it on all over the face and you want to make sure that it is like solid there is like no see-through going on the opacity is not low because we are going to be building upon this color so that's what I'm doing here. Also, another tip that I would recommend doing is to shade the eyebrows and the eyes first as it helps in determining what kind of detailing or how intense the shadows or highlights are gonna be. So in this next step, once you have the base ready, you wanna first of all lock the layer so that color doesn't spill out the face. So in this next step, I am starting to build up the shadows. I am using this really darker shade of that base skin color and I'm using soft airbrush to do so. And in this step, you should not be worrying about how harsh the shadow is looking. You just have to focus on putting those shadows onto the face and that should be the only focus in this step and we are also going to be built upon these shadows so this first layer of shadow is really essential um, and this is going to help us later on in the process into deciding where to put deep colors and where to put lighter colors and it also does depend on the light source of your painting so yeah keep that in mind while doing so so i'm going to fast forward this bit Now the next step is to create a new layer and I am picking up this color right here and I am going to add this color over the shadows we already created and that's how we are going to build up on the shadows. So basically if you are shading similar type of skin tone you can just take the palette and you can just follow the exact same um, steps to paint the skin now i have a lot of colors in my palette and i only used a few i always keep all these colors with me when i'm painting skin so you can go ahead and choose your own colors it doesn't matter the basic principle you have to keep in mind is that when you sh when you are shading face don't just go ahead and uh, use one color to add shadows and use another to add highlights basically you have to build it up so you have to choose your shadow colors in a way where you have colors with orange undertone and you also have colors with pink undertone 
and when you combine those together and start shading the face it looks realistic when you use colors from just one undertone or just one color for shadows that makes your whole painting look whole painting look a lot more ashy so to make it look very realistic you can always first of all go ahead with colors with orange undertone and then with pink undertone and then pick up some colors from your environment where your painting is and add that color on the face as well so with that in mind you can go ahead and choose your own colors from this palette or you can create your own palette if you want i mainly use dark browns and deep maroons and also some really deep and dark brown which are a little bit desaturated so that's what i've used i've also used orange later on in the video i used orange to add on the shadows so yeah as you guys can see here i'm using this really desaturated kind of brown and i'm also adding it over the shadows like not over just around the shadows so that's how you have to and i also did use that really subtle pink kind of color as blush and whenever you are doing blush make sure you're not only using it on the cheeks use it on the nose on the forehead on the neck a little bit it looks really really good so as you guys can see i'm using this orange on the lids and a little bit on the nose as well even though it is not really needed but i just wanted some color on the face so you can actually play around with different colors when you're painting skin and it actually looks good and i used to stick to just colors from orange in the tone and pink in the tone and just two three colors and i never played around with um colors which are like for example orange color is like too much to put on face but when i did that it actually looked great i hope this is making sense so basically in this step i went back to the main layer and i picked up my smudge brush and i smudged the shadows and i'm gonna do the same thing on the next layer where we built up the shadows now i did not explain each and every step but i did actually highlighted each and every little color that i was picking up while building upon the shadows so here i am just blending those shadows smudging those shadows and the key here is to keep the opacity almost low it's like one percent right now and that's how you have to keep it because we don't want to smoothen out everything we don't want to make our painting look ashy or washed out at all the key here is to keep the opacity really really low and use a large size brush and lightly tap onto all of the shadows that you have created that way you're not gonna lose out on that harshness and they're at the same time gonna look soft if that makes any sense so yeah that's what i am doing right here now what you want to do create another layer change the layer mode to multiply now we are gonna add some detailing and some more shadows and for that i'm using this real um, dark desaturated pink i don't even know names of a lot of colors so i'm using this specific color with soft hair brush and i'm gonna start adding more shadows on what we have already created even though it already looks good if you want to leave it at this you can completely do that and add highlights and you'll be done but i just wanted to add more depth so i picked up this color changed the layer mode to multiply and i'm adding more depth to um, first of all the crease area around the eyes and around the nose around the mouth a little bit just to add more depth to the face now i'm just going to fast forward this bit and you will see what i'm doing here and the process is similar basically i'm just adding these shadows and not worrying about them not being perfect because later i'm going to go ahead and pick up the smudge brush and going to blend those out Here I went ahead and shaded the lips, uh, there's nothing much to explain for the lips. I already have a lot of tutorials for sketchbook as to how to shade lips. And here I simply just picked up a darker version of the lip color and I added in the middle of the mouth. And I'm absolutely really really sorry for the background noises. Lately I've not been using my mic 
my laptop is not with me so yeah just excuse me for that and i'm really apologizing for that Here I went ahead and picked up a really light skin color and I added it under the eyes, around the mouth and on the forehead a little bit because everything was looking too dark. So I wanted to bring out some of the areas of the face. So yeah, I used this light skin color to do that. Once I was happy with everything, I created a new layer above all of the layers that I have and I picked a white color to add highlights. To do that, I'm using soft air brush. It's easy, you guys. I will link a in-depth tutorial for highlights as to how to create good highlights for your paintings down in the description below. I'm just gonna fast forward this bit as well. Here you are actually done with the painting. I actually went back and picked up this deep maroon color and I added it on around the eyes just because I felt as if the eye part lagged some detailing. Other than that, you guys are done with the face painting and my process has changed a lot and i have a video on skin shading on sketchbook already you if you want you can go ahead and watch that tutorial as well the process i did there is also a really really good process and it is actually a little bit different from this one i will give a link down in the description so you guys can decide for yourself which process you want to go ahead with other than that, I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you do create something out of my tutorials, tag me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.